Well, we're at this place I got to shoot here and I can't drive because I had shoulder surgery. So I got my trusty dusty sidekick, Cindy. We are going to shoot a house that's in a great spot. So there's one of the main intersections in Danville. Here's all the jobs. This is, it's really not the industrial park, but that's kind of what they call it. I mean, this is as industrial parky as it gets. There's some pretty factories, uh, John Deere dealership. There's BCTC, which is, what does that stand for? Bluegrass Technical Community College. There you go. Like yeah, which is a great thing to have here, especially with the factory. So you can get an, uh, a degree in industrial maintenance. Uh, you can get nursing degrees there. It's really pretty nice for us to have that here. This is a multi-generational house, and uh, Ken tells me it's got two full kitchens on separate levels, full ground level walk-in lower level. Well, you know me in walk-out basements. I think it's the bee's knees. The main level is completely renovated. New kitchen, new bath, new flooring, new paint, 3.8 acres. So everybody wants to be close to everything. I mean, back where we were, a mile back, that's where that's where uh, TJ Maxx is, Starbucks, all that stuff. There's BCTC. They're adding on, so that's good. A lot of stuff's going on. There's the big additions here. My back. And then this is Wilderness Trail Distillery. And they are movers and shakers. They are really doing an amazing job here. I can't tell you how much more land over here, maybe another 100 acres or something are gonna go. And those are, those are called rick houses and they're all filled with aging bourbon barrels. 53 gallons each and about 24,000 in each one, 24,000 barrels in each one of those rick houses. So it's, it's quite the economic driver for us in our county now. We've got a regional medical center, we've got a college, we've got, of course, BCTC, and you can see how many rick houses. There'll be 17 there, probably another five or so for Wilderness Trail, and then 100 acres full across the way. Beautiful homes, people take really good care of everything. Um, what can I say? It's a good area, and 2.8 miles out of town, and just literally just a couple, I think it's right up here on the left here, baby. We have to pass those things. Aha, uh -huh, the things. Up here, across the components. Ah, sides. the cone things. Yes, that's right. See, you knew so, more about it than I did. It's that one. Here. Yep. Oh. That's what the cones are for. <laughs> so, everybody wants to be close to town, and everybody wants to be close to jobs, and shopping and all that stuff, and on a few acres. So, this, this place... <laughs> What is wrong? With I you? love my truck. I love you love your truck. <laughs> you need a kidney belt and a heavy duty bra. I do. A bro. I guess it's called a bro if I have it, right? All right. Let's check this out. <laughs> All right. Here we are. So these big oak trees are massive, massively wonderful. These oak trees are going to provide plenty of acorns for all the little furry animals of the woods. And someday, uh, might be turned into a bourbon barrel. When you're down here in Kentucky, it's all about the bourbon. It's about horses. It's about green. We get about an inch of rain a, a week on average. I'm going to walk around the outside of the house. I like this back deck. Cindy, check it out. Where'd she go? She was standing right behind me. I like this. You know me. I'm all about the entertaining, about the decks. And there's a doggy in there. Uh-oh. That dog's gonna eat me up. I ain't going in there. Think it's a fake dog? Or is that a real dog? Is your dog back? <laughs> it's not my dog. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna walk around front. But there's a dog in here. There's a big dog in there. Well, not it is vacant, but no, it's no. full of dogs. <laughs> or it's one of them electronic dogs you can get at Kmart. I have no idea what we're supposed to do now. Day in the life of real estate, right? 
can't get in because we got we got no lockbox and there's ferocious animals in there. I have no idea. It sounds like one dog. He's probably about a foot tall. But still. A foot tall. That's just above my ankle. Ouch. Well, I guess this will be in the blooper reel. Wrong house. That's the house. Okay, let's go over here. <laughs> what a dark move. And of course, they got the pod in the back and everything. The house is for sale. They got a pod in the back. Durr. So, <laughs> okay, you don't have beautiful oak trees. You have beautiful maple trees. They're prettier anyway in the fall. <laughs> There's across the way. Cattle and whatnot. There you go. I'm like, Cindy says, what if we have the wrong house? I'm like, I don't know. And that was on a crawl. And I remember we talked about basement. So this is the house. There's the lockbox. We're rocking and rolling now. <laughs> Day in the life. Look at this gorgeous maple. <laughs> Did you know those are oak trees over there? I, I had no idea. Those are maples. Well, there you go. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this doesn't give any acorns, but that was probably the darkest thing I've done, well, all week for sure. All right, here's the house. It's a great house, and it's got a nice neighbor here, too. You can always tell when people care about their place. Look at that little pond back there. That's who you want to live next to. Now, this is the full... We're going to walk around this house, too. City Gas and then KU Electric. So those are the cheapest, the two cheapest utilities around. I wish we had gas, city gas. Oh, my gosh. Natural gas. What do you all call it? Let me know what you think about this place over that place. 20... 24 by 40 metal building. That's perfect. That's what Landon and I need for a workshop. Mm -hmm. you want to spend time with your kids. Teach them how to use a table saw and make some furniture and stuff. All right. It's vacant. Let's try it. Let's go on in. This looks like a new heat pump, Sin. Fairly new, yeah. Yep. I don't know what brand it is, but it's got a fireplace here. I just saw the clean out door. All right, let's see what we got. 2,756 square feet. So that's probably like 14 up and 14 down, right? About 1,400 up, 1,400 down. And it is three bedrooms, two baths, two full kitchens. Look at that. And no dogs. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> huh? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> There you go, you sit on the porch and you look at that. Beautiful. Well, Cindy turned all the lights on, so we're just gonna walk right in and I'll take pictures later. This is a different story. Wow, they just remodeled this whole place. I don't know what the story was, whether they got transferred or what the deal was, but tilt in vinyl windows, all new grays, a warm gray color. The floor is like a Scandinavian type of oak thing. You got Wayne's coating, all the cool stuff. And when I say just, you think I'm kidding you. Look at this. I don't think I've never been anything in there. You know, I'm always looking in the refrigerator. It's like, hey, they got any beer in there or whatever it is, right? <laughs> this one, they got nothing in there except packing tape. I get great ideas from viewers like you, so please comment and tell me some things, okay? Good feedback, I'm fine with it. Uh, also, tell me what you wanna see, and uh, I got a great feedback from, a, from a, one of our subscribers, which by the way, it helps out our channel tremendously, just subscribe right here, and then turn on the notifications, that's the little bell, and then you'll be alerted of new videos when I make them. Anyway, one of our comment commenters said, she says, women love cabinets. You gotta show the inside of the cabinets. I said, okay, you got it. So we got dovetail here. This is all real wood. And then this is, I guess, like a silverware drawer. And I'm thinking like, what's the deal with this thing? And then over in here, it's, it's like the bowling pin things. And then you can put these here, I guess, and make a second story. 
Uh, so I don't know, pots and pans go down there or something. I'm sure a lot of our subscribers will know how to do that. And then that one's just a plain one. I'm not going to open every drawer, but you get the idea. Plenty of cabinet space, plenty of uh, shelves, right? That's what you want. And that's all soft clothes, even, the, even these doors. That's just too first world for me. Ours don't even have slides. <laughs> uh, how do you do this? Oh, you open it like this. So this is what we would call a pantry right there. Look at that. That's a lot of mama jama right there. Okay, get back to shooting bread. So, thank you for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you for that tip. I think it's pretty funny. This is real rock. And I'm going to assume, oh, yeah, I mean, just redone. Everything, of course, is soft clothes. Fancy schmancy. That's never been used at all. It doesn't look like that's been used. Looks like they tested it, that's it. And then that's just like, they haven't even cleaned it right. I mean, it's like all new. Subway tiles, what else can I tell you? Beautiful fixtures, is this a pantry? Oh yeah, look at that. Now I don't like wallpaper, but that's cool wallpaper. Look at that with the dark door. This is like, um, it's not black, it's a really dark, but warm colored gray. I know it shows probably cool on this, but there you go. Gas fireplace, gas logs. Now it's got these heatilator things. So I'm not sure exactly how that works, but there's gas logs in there now. I guess you could take the gas logs out, I think. Let's, let's take a look at this real quick on here. Okay, no maintenance deck, like a, like a Trex deck type of thing. Gotta make a bigger deck. Gotta have a bigger deck. There's like a dog pen and a, a machine shed back there. I guess that's all part of it. What do you think of this place? I need your opinion, please tell me. Walk in, coat closet there, right? Everybody wants to see inside the coat closets. There you go. Not real sexy, but real handy to have. Yeah. Then this first door, this goes down to the basement, full walkout basement. They did a great job in here. They really did, no kidding. There's the kitchen, right? Boudoir number one. I'm gonna need to learn some French. Boudoir number two. It's kind of small, not too small for a bedroom, but perfect for home office. Boudoir number three. They did all the cool stuff. Walk in closet here. Wings coating on the ceiling. All LED lights, I assume. And then this pretty swanky bathroom. I love that vanity. Soft closed doors there, elongated bowl. So you got extra room, you know what I'm saying. The subway tiles just sparkling. Delta, you know how I like Delta. Man, I'll tell you what, if you ever have a cartridge go bad, you just call them up and they'll send you one for free. Linen, I got the shelves with the bull nose on it. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm assuming they, they put that bull nose on there. I don't know if you can buy them like that. Maybe you can. I, I need to spend more time at like Home Depot and things like that. Try to keep up on all this stuff. Oh, this smells good. It sparkles, full walkout. All right, where do we start? I don't even know. Closet there. All 
I've told you before, we have, we have family that is getting older. like something wrong with that light um we got family that's getting older here you go perfect all right now this refrigerator isn't new in fact it looks like brady bunch water i'm so disappointed <laughs> ah. and this the push button range oh my god that's hilarious uh, but everything's in like perfect condition probably never been used right well, that'll last a long time and a GE wall oven. A little swing on the outside. I mean, really, seriously. Perfect for a granny flat, perfect for teen kids. Maybe you want to Airbnb it, right? You could do all that kind of stuff. Water heater. That shower looks brand new. Okay, what do we got here? Old air conditioner, not a clue. It's a city water where the city water comes in, so you can just shut that off. Living room or whatever you want to use this for. And then walk right on out. Could you use this? Would this be a property you could use? like? You know, I'm not saying you have to buy this one. I'm just saying, could you see yourself living in a place like this? Would this be right for you and your family? You could do anything here. Gosh, you could have an antique shop down here. You could do anything. Well, County's pretty easy when it comes to that kind of stuff. So if you really wanted to have an antique shop or whatever, you just file for... A home office business or whatever it's like $25 a year and then that's it you're rolling <clears throat> and I would imagine even were place even in places where they didn't like home offices I would imagine that's all changed this year all right <laughs> I saw your head peek around. Well, that's all I can say. I mean, look, 3.8 acres, great place. I did. Yeah, I was out there. And I even went outside down below. I think it looks great. It's huge downstairs. Yeah, it's a lot of, lot of room. And I assume the property goes over to that fence there. I'll put an aerial here for you. So you can see exactly what's going on. I'm gonna look inside the shed. What do you think? Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Another thing I forgot to really point out is the paved driveway. You know, that's a twenty thousand dollar deal there. And you got gravel here, which is great. That chain link fence leads me to believe that we're getting close to the back of that property. Yeah, that line goes all the way across, and then there's like a waterer out there. I don't know. Ken will tell you. And do call for the most up-to-date, little chicken coop. Uh, do call for an up-to-date price. They're asking in the high 200s. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Oh, yard sale. Oh, they got a, an appliance dolly. I need one of those. I'll have to call them up. We sold their other house, and that is the biggest air compressor I've seen in a very long time. Um, we sold their other house for them. Immaculate people. I mean ridiculously, ridiculously immaculate. It was the golf course house. I don't know if you remember, it was like on the golf course, but not on the golf course. It was a pond in between, same people. That house sparkled. I mean, you open the door and you could hear, ching. But look at that shop. That's fantastic. 24 by 40, so about a thousand square feet. Yep. You can make some stuff in here. You can make some stuff. Yep. It's built well too. Looks like it's a, a home build as opposed to like a Morton building type or maybe an Amish built and it's all electrified. It's got a fan up there, window, overhead door. Look at that. Uh, yep. 
Perfect. Love it. Love it. All right. We've seen enough. I'm not going to take any pictures of this because they'll probably kill me. But would you lock that, please, love? Yeah. Remember that ginormous air compressor? They got piped out here. So you can just plug in. You don't even have to go in the barn. Just hit a little, uh, hit a little hose there. Here's another one here. Mm -hmm. Guy does pretty slick stuff. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. Needs a coat of paint. It's galvanized, so it's not going to rust or anything, but it definitely needs some paint. That'd be easy. Now, I just looked it up, and you know that little machine shed back there where the dog run is? Right? That little, like a, it's like a tractor shed. Not the 24 by 40, but that little shed, that's not even halfway back. It goes way on over the hill there. So this is this lot is whatever it is wide. I'll, I'll put it down here. But look at these aerials, and it goes way on back. Something I almost forgot to show you. This, remember I said that this uh, this little shed here, machine shed, it's not a machine shed at all. It's a horse stall, horse stable, horse barn. Uh, it's not even a halfway back, right? So uh, I'll, I'll find out what the numbers are and I'll put it here. You got that little carporty thing. Chain link fence here, I guess, to keep the horses out or to keep the doggies in or whatever. And then you've got a, a tank there, a stock tank. You've got this chicken coopy thing here which uh, I don't know how you loosen this up. I guess you loosen it up like that. Breaking and entering, right? And the chickens, chickens? I don't know, I don't see chicken poop, but I don't know what it is. Maybe a dog or something. So you got that thing here. I'm gonna have to say this is chicken poop. And then you've got a frost-proof hydrant here. Let's see if it works. No, they got it shut off somewhere. Anyway, it's frost-proof because it's got a foot valve two feet in the ground. And when you shut it off, it drains so this doesn't freeze. The only time this will freeze is if you got a hose here and you don't loosen it up and let it drain out. This has got power here. I can't get the light on, but it looks like it's 100 years old. The light bulb and the barn. And I have no idea what these cool lockers are, but isn't that cool? It's kind of like a vintage, repurposed kind of thing. I'm going to just help myself in here. That door slides along there. Fantastic. Sickle bar mower. That's some old-timey stuff. Two-bottom plow. And this is a horse stall. And this is a horse water, a tank. You could have a calf back here. I mean, no kidding. Looks a little yucky, I know, but you can turn it on and, and it'll bring in nice, good, clean water. And you can raise a calf or some goats or something back here, sheep or whatever. This is zoned residential agricultural or agricultural residential, AR1. And always check with Ken because, you know, I'm not competent, but he is. Uh, this is, uh, if this is zoned agricultural residential, then by right, you're allowed to have horses, sheep, goats, whatever. Pigs, I don't know, maybe not, but definitely... Oh, there's light. Definitely uh, chickens and all that kind of stuff. You have your homesteading things going on. This place has a little bit of everything. So beautiful house, full walkout basement, multi-generational, 3.8 acres. It's got the horse shed, horse stall. It's got the chicken coop doggy thing. It's got the waterer. It's got everything. And it's like two and a half miles to town. If this property is right for you, fantastic. Call the number right here. That's Ken. And if it's not fantastic, that's even better because I want you to get on the Home Finder. You're going to absolutely love the Home Finder. We're going to ask you five or six questions. How much do you want to spend? How soon are you looking to buy? That sort of thing. And what's the ideal property look like? That is the key. What does your ideal property look like? I, like, who cares if I think that's a cool barn? You might not have a use for it. Or we might be on the same wavelength. We're brothers and sisters. Talk to you all later. Thank you. Love you all. Ciao. Bleep. That's it. We're out. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.